What's going on Minecraft Universe? This is Jason and we're back today with a, another mod because you guys love your mods. So um, yeah, we got 200 likes on the last video. Of course, I knew you guys would. Um, but yeah, let's try to do it again on this one. We can keep these mods going. All right. So, anyways, today I got an, a mob mod for you. Uh, it's a really, it's actually kind of creepy. It's um, not like or a slender mod or anything like that. It's like, it's it's kind of endermany, but you'll, I mean, you'll see what I mean. Okay, whatever. Uh, we got we can spawn or a white or a stalker, and these are kind of endermany. Got kind of, you'll see what I mean. But this is the white and stalker mod, and it's pretty cool. Um, we'll go ahead and spawn the stalker first, I guess. Um, I'll show you exactly what his behaviors are. Actually, it probably should be daytime. I mean, nighttime. So let's go ahead and kill this guy. Uh, uh, take that. Uh. All right. So okay, let's start over here. Okay, we're gonna spawn a stalker. All right, he's right there. I'm gonna get my distance here. And then I'll change my game mode. All right, so I'm gonna face this way. Change my game mode. All right, so I'm in I'm in uh, survival. So oh, he sees me. So the stalker, the way he works is, whenever he sees you, he will begin to chase you, like that. And then if you're like, hey man, what the heck? He'll and look at him right in the eye. He'll like walk away and cowardly like creep backwards, and he will not attack you. But if you look away for like a second, he'll come up and kill you. And then you have to. Uh, kill him so I mean he does look, oh my god he actually almost just killed me um but yeah he is now dead I better switch back to creative so I don't die okay so that was the stalker and what he drops is um he'll drop a dead bush a sapling wood cobweb leaves vines coal bottle of enchanting and gas tier he'll drop only one of these items but he'll drop them randomly and so that's pretty much it for him. He spawns in like I guess foresty areas, and rarely he will drop this item, Stalker Essence. And when, um, what you use this for is uh, you can right click. I guess let's let's try to do it in creative. See how many uses it has. I don't know that. Um, but yeah, you can oh right click. I guess it sets you on fire, but you sacrifice. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, that was close. Alright, so you kind of sacrifice, like, your health. As long as there's, like, no guys around, like the skeleton, you'll be fine. Um, or if you have nearby water or something. But as you see right there, that was kind of lucky, actually. Um, I guess there's, like, if that's one use, there's, like, I don't know, five? Five or six, maybe? Seven? Um, uses of the stalker essence. And what it is is you just right-click um, just stone. It works on stone. And it will put a random ore in the game on that stone. And you can go ahead and harvest it or whatever. Um, but yeah, as you see, it makes that sound. And anyways, it the way it works is it will, like, kind of... It'll give you more coal than it'll give you anything else. Because however common that ore is, it'll give it to you based on how common. So that was really lucky that that was diamond. You don't get diamond that often. So if I just fill these up here, we'll see how many... We should get more coals than anything. Okay, so that's about right, actually. That's actually pretty accurate. Um, but yeah, that is uh, exactly how the Stalker Essence works. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and spawn the white now. Okay, we'll spawn him like over here or something. He looks like this, by the way. All right, let's go over here or something. And um, I guess, you know, turn off creative. And the, what is this? The, yeah, the white, he spawns in the nether. So... Oh crap, he'll have the same actions as the, or the same behavior as the uh, stalker, but he will teleport. So watch this. If, if he gets close, if the player gets close to him, he'll teleport. And it'll, yeah, if he's far away, he'll shoot fireballs at you too. And so, uh, take that. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Alright, I'm gonna switch back here. That spider almost killed me. Alright, um, where's he at? Okay, yeah, he'll teleport like an Enderman if you get too close, so he's really hard to kill. And I know what you're thinking, just shoot him with arrows, but even that doesn't work. Once an arrow hits him, he will teleport. So, I mean, there's no way, um, you'll be able to kill him with the arrow. And he's in the nether, so, um, he is the same speed as the Stalker, and I guess he's a little weaker, actually. He's harder, I mean, he's easier to kill, which makes sense. I feel like he's more deadly, though. <laughs> he is, he, he does, like, more damage, he shoots fireballs. But, uh, yeah, I killed him, and I don't know if he dropped anything. Let's go check. Um, no, he didn't drop anything. But um, what he drops is only one of these items, and he'll drop rotten flesh, coal, netherrack, soul sand, flint, bottle of enchanting, gunpowder, and a fire charge. 
Um, so, um, as, I guess it's pretty good if you go to the nether, but it's just, this is just a really dangerous mod, and it's, it's really your choice to put in two more really just dangerous mods. A few times I was messing around with this before I recorded, and a few times they actually scared me, as if they were Endermen, or even worse though, because, I don't know, it's just, it's scary that they, when they see you, like the stalkers, when they see you, they'll chase you down, whether you know it or not. So, that's really scary. So, anyways, um, well, I missed this, which is the white essence. And what it does is they'll be dropped rarely, too, from the whites. And when you use it, um, make sure you have a bed, though, and you've slept. Like, you have a home where you've slept already and have a set spawn. Otherwise, this will freeze your game, I figured out. So, um, yeah, when you have the white essence in your hand, just right-click, and you'll go back to your spawn, wherever you slept. So, oh, jeez, what's that guy doing here? So anyways, uh, yeah, I slept right here, and I just, it'll take you back there. I think it has, like, two, two, I think maybe three uses. I think it has three uses. Um, but, yeah, if I just, I can teleport back. It, of course, sets you on fire. So if you're willing to set yourself on fire to get home, then... I don't know, whatever. But, I mean, you just gotta be ready. You gotta have, like, a bucket of water or something with you, and then you're good. You're fine. But, yeah, this is a pretty unique mod. It's cool. It's scary. I like it. And I like doing these mob mods, actually. I might... I wanna... I wanna aim for doing more mob mods that are scary and cool, just unique. And uh, I, mobs add a feel to the game. They can kind of change the whole game, depending on where they're at and, you know, what they do. So, I mean, yeah, I like doing these mods. So if we could get, let's get 200 more likes on this video and we will do another mod kind of like this maybe, or I guess just another mod in general. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'll talk to you stars later and see ya.